Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today I am here with my sweet new friend, Abigail, and she is going to talk to us about her pageant journey. So Abigail, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you so much for having me. This is so exciting and I'm super excited to kind of get into it with you today. Um, so I am Abigail. I am a doctoral student at Toro University, Nevada, studying occupational therapy. I have a bachelor's degree in disability services from the Indiana University of Pennsylvania. I have a dog named Tucker. I'm the current Miss Nevada volunteer. Um, I run a few uh, nonprofit programs out here in Nevada, and I live in Las Vegas. I love it. I love it. So talk to us about how you got started in pageantry. You know, when did you start? Where did you start? And how did it get you to where you are now? Absolutely. I think almost like every girl um, that I've come in contact to throughout pageantry, we didn't know how to pay for college. College came senior year of high school. I realized how expensive it was going to be. And so I joined a small hometown pageant that all the local high school girls did. It was called Miss Hanover Area. And they were giving away $2,000 for the winner. And then they had some special awards. I was like, ah, you know, I've always wanted to do toddlers and tiaras. I grew up watching it. My mom was always like, no, absolutely not. I will not have you involved in anything like this. Um, but I, I did dance growing up. And so I had my talent and I just needed a dress. They didn't do swimsuit at this one. Um, so we went, we got a, a gown and I competed and actually, um, won the whole thing. And my mom was hooked. She's like, all right, you can keep doing pageants, you know, no problem. So I walked away from that with over $2,000 in scholarships and joined the Miss America organization. Um, and I wouldn't have known really about how to get involved with the Miss America organization if it wasn't for our production tech that did Miss Hanover area. She was like, you need to do Miss York County. You need to get into all this stuff. There's so much more scholarship dollars to be won. And so I just kind of joined. I had watched Miss America before. I didn't think of how do people get there. I just... <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know that there were locals. I didn't know that there were, you know, was a, was a ladder to kind of get to Miss America. So I did the Miss America organization for a few years and won over $20,000 in scholarships. So it's been very beneficial for my undergrad degree. And then even now in graduate school too, the scholarship dollars in pageantry has just made such an impact on my life. I love it. I love it. Talk to us a little bit about your talent. You know, what is it? Um, how do you go about selecting a piece for state competition and then obviously nationals too? Yeah, absolutely. I have always danced. I started out doing a point routine. Um, I had the big platter tutu. I did the hair in the high donut bun. I loved it, but I just couldn't keep up with it in college. I wasn't dancing as much. So I was able to maintain that for the first few years of pageantry, but my true heart and, and love is in lyrical and just combining jazz with ballet and telling a story. And so I started with Via Della Rosa by Sandy Patty. And I did that for a few years and won a preliminary talent award too at Miss Pennsylvania, which was so exciting um, and such a big blessing and honor. And then I, did you raise me up? Because I wanted to kind of give back to my family and thank them for everything that they've done supporting me through this crazy journey of pageantry. And I thought I was going to stop pageantry. And then I came back. And <laughs> so I was like, ah, you know, I'll stick to Via Dolores. I really love it. And um, I'm so excited to take it on the national stage too. And just kind of tell the story to everybody knows the story. Everyone knows the song. And so it's just something that I can really get into emotions with and portray that on stage. And that's why I really love Lyrical and Via Dolores. I love it. I love it. And, you know, this isn't technically a phase of competition, but I'm interested to hear about, you know, your your service initiative. So what are you doing with it? What's the name of it? What have you been working on? What are your plans for the future? My serve initiative is advancing opportunities for the disability community. I am pursuing occupational therapy in school. So as an occupational therapist, we are always finding ways to give people with disabilities opportunities and work with them to have more opportunities in the long run. Um, so it was something that's been near and dear to my heart for the longest time. I knew I wanted to be an occupational therapist for the past almost 10 years. I knew I wanted to help the disability community. And uh, my cousin Jake has autism too. So I grew up seeing how different opportunities were never given to him, but because my aunt was just his tireless advocate, 
he was always able to, to get those um, opportunities that not a lot of peers had. So now he's thriving and succeeding in everything he does. And he has such a great quality of life. Not everybody gets that same experience and opportunity. So being able to be an advocate in the community, I run this nonprofit organization, Nevada Miss Amazing, where we truly work on building confidence, public speaking skills, different communication styles, and give them opportunities that they've never had. Just a few weeks ago, I took a few of the queens on the news and the one girl had tears in her eyes. She goes, I've never been on the news. I never thought I'd be on the news. And so it's just making that impact. I mean, something as pageant girls, something as small as being in a parade, right? We do how many parades a year? You know, they're always, we always have pictures and parades and that kind of thing. And I got all the girls up on the back of a truck, you know, and we did a Christmas parade downtown and they just loved it. They ate it up. They loved that opportunity and they wouldn't have that typically, right? So what my serve initiative truly is, is working on things that I do all the time, every single day, giving back those opportunities, trying to advance them, make the world a more inclusive place. I love that. I love that. And switching back to, you know, we've been talking about phases of competition. So I'm interested to know what your favorite phase of competition is. And then tell us a little bit about why. I love swimsuit. I love it. I have never felt more empowered than when I was on stage in a bikini. And I did the Miss America organization since 2016. So I've been through all the ups and downs and changes of the Miss America organization. But the first year I did swimsuit, I was like, I am not confident. I do not have it. And after a whole year of just putting myself kind of through it and just doing it and going through the motions, I was like, you know what? I love this. Like I, I can rock this. And I was never as fit as I was when I did swimsuit. I was never as confident in my body as I was during swimsuit. And so when they removed it, I was so disappointed because I was finally like, yeah, I, I got this, you know? <laughs> And um, come in, that was a big thing for me coming to Miss Volunteer America too, is having that swimsuit component back because it truly is just an adrenaline rush, but it's also just so, so empowering. And I don't like to throw that word around a lot, but I truly love the, the confidence that it gives you. And never in my wildest dreams would I ever say that being on a swimsuit on stage is my favorite thing. But it, it truly, it's just so fun to, and you have upbeat music, so you're like strutting around and I just love it. It's so much fun. I'm right there with you. I'm not an evening gown girly at all. I hate walking slow. <laughs> I love fitness. And I did volunteer one year actually too. And I oh, um, loved swimsuit. Like I was like, oh, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, they play the upbeat music. One year they did Rihanna's This Is What You Came For. Yes. Like, yeah. This is what the people came for, you know, <laughs> and it's just so fun. So I'm glad that we could share that in common. I love it. I love it. And speaking of swimsuit, you know, you got nationals in like what, two months? So what have you been doing to prepare? What have you been focusing on in your prep? Sure. Right now where I am with school, graduate school is very demanding. Um, but right now I'm actually in the field. I'm doing what we call field work. And that's kind of like our internship. So I am working like a full-time OT. Um, I have clients throughout the day. I get there at 7 a.m. I don't leave until 6.30. And that is my full day. Um, so really the biggest part of prep for me has been meal prepping and just sticking to a diet. But I am also one of those people that's like, I could use a sweet treat every once in a while. So it's been so fun to go on social media and um, see all these healthy recipes of how people can include chocolate or ice cream and how they can make it healthier. So playing around in the kitchen too and being able to experiment, I really loved. And it really helps my body stay energized and motivated and awake throughout the day too while I'm seeing patients because back to back, it gets very draining. So um, having that, and then I don't know if you drink Celsius. Are you a Celsius? Oh, kind of gal? absolutely. <laughs> they have, like Celsius has cola, which I just discovered. And I love that I have it on hand right here. It's a cola. It tastes almost like Coke. And I'm I'm a Coke over Pepsi. <laughs> kind of so um, I really love this. It's a little bit like kind of watered down, but it still has that same taste. So it, I'm tricking my body into... Being healthier, but that's typically been the prep. 
So Love it's it. been nice. <laughs> okay. Final question. If you could give one piece of advice to a girl competing uh, for her first year and being a first year uh, title holder, what advice would you give her? I talk to girls all the time. I was a dance teacher for a few years and I have a lot of girls that were my past students that have done pageants and a lot that have done the Miss Hanover area pageant, my very first one. And they've just kept going um, with different pageant systems to get that scholarship dollars. So I've had a lot of conversations of the do's and don'ts in pageantry, the why you should do it. And to me, there's never been any negatives. I have made countless friends throughout this program and friends that have been in other systems that I've never been in, friends who are in the area. Las Vegas is great. I've made so many throughout Miss Nevada and Miss Nevada Volunteer. And so I think just being your true authentic self, it really shows on stage and in the interview room. And then also the girls know too. And that's one thing that I've really looked for in making friends in the system is who's being their true selves. Because I know once the pageant's over, how are they going to be as a friend too? Mm -hmm. So being true to yourself, putting time into your prep is really important. And a lot of girls overlook just having some of these conversations. This is a great opportunity for me for interview prep. How do you answer questions? How do you minimize the ums that you put in? <laughs> And, and just being able to talk to people too. One thing that's the biggest part of my prep is finding friends or acquaintances who don't share the same opinions that I do. And you have to find these people that will sit down with you, will talk about their opinions and their views. They'll, you have to listen and then they'll listen to you too. And I think that those answers really help in the interview room because you have an idea of, different perspectives and it helps make you a more well-rounded person. So my biggest piece of advice, be yourself, have fun, make a lot of friends, but also talk to a lot of people and take every opportunity for what it is. Um, don't take it for granted at all. Pageants are such an amazing opportunity and experience and I hope that you gain a lot from them just like I did. I love that. I love that. Well, thank you so much for coming on and chatting with us about you and your title and all the things that you're doing. Um, and just know that we'll be rooting you on at nationals in June. Well, thank you so much. It was so great talking to you. Of I course. Yay. And I will see the rest of you guys on our next episode. Bye y'all. <laughs>